environment environment is the source of life on earth and it not only directs but also determines the existence growth and development of mankind and all its activities primitive men ate wild fruits hunted and fished and relied heavily on nature for his very existence even these basic activities damaged nature to some extent at that time man did not concern himself with conservation methods or in other words there was no need for it because nature was able to cope with whatever damage was inflicted by quickly restoring its best resources as society developed man's impact on environment grew in scope and strength until very recently we adhere to the following dictum we cannot expect favors from nature we must take them for quite a long time no thought was given to the possible consequences of such taking from nature but the consequences were significant and pervasive mankind has long trusted in nature's potential and its protective powers though there was no reason to believe that these powers were inexhaustible only recently man has come to realize the necessity for conservation undoubtedly this is the result of revolution in science and technology which has dramatically increased man's ability to use natural environment and its resources nature has been increasingly damaged restorative capabilities have progressively weakened and human environment is deteriorating day by day to the point of affecting not only the quality of life but even the very existence of life at this point man realized the need to preserve and improve his environment which is now called as the ecological approach the human environment is the earth we live on it includes all the physical parts of the earth such as air soil minerals rocks and water as well as all its living organisms such as animals and planets environmental science provides an approach to us understanding the environmental of our planet and the impact of human life on that environment it is also a search for solutions to the environmental problems that confront us in fact environmental science is a vast subject including all those branches of knowledge which deal with ecology as an interdisciplinary science drawing upon subjects like geology botany geography and social and natural sciences the study of environment basically deals with the study of environment and ecology the term environment etymologically means surroundings literally it is an english term found by two words that is environment and ment which means in circle or all around thus environment is a complex of many variables which surround man as well as all living organisms and external force substance or conditions which surrounds and affects the life of organism in any way becomes a fa- factor of its environment these factors have been variously called as environmental factors ecological factors or simply factors and may, may be living biotic as well as non living biotic the sum of all these living and non living factors makes the environment of an ex- organism the place where an organism lives is called habitat it is also known as milieu which means total set of surroundings in fact habitat is a part of the earth surface where life organi- originates and develops according to the geographical conditions 
as described environment is a complex phenomenon of several factors which are the product of the forces and processes of nature and according to white and renas are universal and inherent all over the earth these factors are classified into two groups as under first is direct factors these include light temperature soil air water soil nutrients second is indirect factors these include soil structure soil organisms altitude wind and slope climate of a region is determined by such meteorological factors like temperature pressure winds relative humidity rainfall evaporation rate etc these factors are concerned mainly with the aerial environment of an organism climate is not only directed but determines the entire ecological balance of a region the other environmental factors like natural vegetation soil water bodies as well as man's activities are in one way or the other related with climate the various forms of ecosystem such as desert coastal glacial all the products of climate the climate is highly affected by man's activities in the form of pollution which has now become a global problem the direct effects of temperature and rainfall can be seen on vegetation and animals Soil is an important environmental factor. Plants depend for their nutrients, water supply, and increase upon the soil. Soil system is indeed but very complex and dynamic, which is undergoing continuous change, and the rate of such change is influenced as number of environmental factors. For example, soil formation depends upon parent material, climate, vegetation, relief, and time. a properly managed soil is an asset and if it misuse it can be permanently damaged and will create environmental degradation vegetation vegetation is an index of other environmental factors such as climate soil and land forms while itself it is also a factor of environment it controls the temperature and helps in rainfall by increasing humidity it is also a controller of soil erosion forests are assets to mankind and a natural resource of national importance great damage has been done to forest after the industrial revolution and now the world is facing several problems due to deforestation which has become the main cause of environmental degradation both in developed as well as developing countries water bodies and animals among other environmental factors water bodies and animals are important all these factors of the environment are not independent but are linked with each other in such a way that none can be separated from the other therefore the environment should be taken into consideration in its entirely the total impact of environment is reflected in all development activities economic social political and cultural